Hello, my name is Prime Thor, and welcome to another video of mine. Appreciate you watching and uh, listening. So we're going to talk about a hot topic that um, that's been prevalent so far in my streams, and of course in these YouTube comments on my videos, is the fact of the uh, kind of pay-to-win aspect of the game that some people think there is, and some people don't. Um, I try to say some people don't, but most people don't. But there is a small niche of this community that are wanting to hop in that think there is a pay to win for this game. I honestly don't think there's not, but let's give the one true uh, statement out there that is uh, needed to be said and will forever be prevalent. So, the one statement is, since this is a free to play game, they have to have some sort of income to the game, right? They have to have something to come in to keep continue developing the game, something um, to incentivize for people to spend money on, and to keep playing that is the operators now people have been saying in my chats and been saying in my streams that have been watching me is they feel like that some of the operators should or there should be more operators that should be available to purchase the thing gain currency and i believe that is a good statement to have i believe that is reasonable thing to state about this game it is valid criticism remember have valid criticism of a game you love don't be just a dickhead because you can be. Now, I do feel them on that. I do agree with them on that. <clears throat> I, uh, my proposal for me is, right, is with the new operators coming out that they release, um, however so often, what they should be doing is the older operators that, that have been there forever and um, that they did release previously, uh, about further down the line, that they should start including those paid operators that you use the premium currency on to uh, be able to purchase them with in-game currency. It's like a slow transition, right? So how I'm saying this if you want to, if you're trying to figure this out. So the two new operators that came out for Spain, right? They uh, they just came out, they're part of the Battle Pass, which is very awesome. I, I highly recommend if you want the new, new operators, go get the Battle Pass. You rank pretty quick through there. So the two new operators came out. Now, with the older operators in the Russian... Um, Russian side, uh, there's some in there that are not available for in-game currency. Start, I would say, start implementing some of those older operators from Russia to have in-game currency options to uh, get. Um, another thing a viewer said to me uh, was talking about was the fact that um, maybe the new operators that come out, they should be able to purchase them with in-game currency by like a higher, uh, a higher bracket, so like a hundred thousand credits or something like that. I feel that's a little too high um, on my end because I know it takes uh, quite a bit of time to gain uh, in-game credits sometimes to get that much and I feel like it should be a little bit lower than that but that's also a great idea he pointed out and I appreciate him for saying that. But yeah so another thing too is actually some operators are behind an actual paywall. Now there's a couple packs that are out there one for the Israeli uh, for the Israelis um, the four limit of the four pack they're behind a paywall which is uh, about 64 or I believe but they also discount them too which is nice and then uh, another ones are the are the old guard that's another one that's um that's also expensive it's about 70 well, 64 yeah 64 dollars um i feel those should be just lowered just a bit uh, i know i want them to keep selling these operators to gain more profit and continue further development but i feel like the prices for some of those packs should be just a little bit lower um that's just me though i know i bought the old guard <laughs> call me a uh call me a, um uh what do you call it um uh call, call it iron or whatever but i i had the money this is for me right i had the money to spend it and i spent it right now as some people who do want to play this game don't have the money Sometimes they don't have the money to purchase them. Um, and I feel for them. I really do. Because you, you got to be thinking about it, right? You were at that point in your life where you want to buy something. You want that certain thing in the game. But you don't have the money. Because either you're a kid or you're just hard times of money. Because everyone has hard times, man. It's it's Right now it's hard as well with how the current global things go on. And also the fact that... Um, some people lost their jobs and they're trying to keep afloat, but games like free to play games are the way to keep them distracted and keep them uh, continue to be, uh, or yeah, continue them to uh, 
want to work and want to find jobs and games like these help them distract them from the bar hard times you know that's how it was for me and how I, at one point in my life and how it's hard for others too and they're they're just like that so um i did state in my previous video of um quality of life improvements is that um they should include challenges during credits in the game so you are premium currency so be able to buy the operators um i feel like that if they want to implement that a lot more people are not going to be as displeased about the how the monetization is for the game which of course there needs to be a monetization as a city before because of the fact that you continue to develop in this game at the high standard that it is already and what well, yes yeah, so i feel like it's just going to keep uh bringing the game more people to come in not as many people complain of course everyone's still going to complain about how highly priced stuff is here and there but um i feel um I feel like at some point they do need to fix the monetization just a bit, just to tweak it just a little bit. I'm not saying tweak it all the way, just tweak it just a little bit so it's a lot more better and uh, not as many people having issues with it. As, um, how, how it is with them is I really do appreciate their monetization system for their credits or their premium currency is for 5,000 coins is 20 bucks, it's not even that much. Uh, even for 1,000 coins it's four dollars usd i'm talking us because i'm from the us but yeah um i just want to make this quick video about the uh a little bit of a hot talk that's been bringing up i like to talk about it um but yeah uh, the end statement is they do need mon a monetization system to sell the operators at some sell most of the operators with premium currency because they do make a they do need to make a um a profit off this game so they continue further development and this game will continue to succeed now, if you have a problem with that, like I said, I will always state this. I respect your opinion. I respect anything you say. It's yours, right? I'm not going to uh, berate you about anything. Um, I'll take your criticism um, as much as I can, and I'll try to give you some workarounds for that, because even with me, I'm doing giveaways to try to help people to uh, keep playing the game and not have them uh, struggle with trying to buy stuff they want, because I was there. I know how it feels, and I want to give as many people uh, to be able to get this operator they want or be able to get the battle pass or spend on what they want but yeah so um like i said it's just a quick video nothing too crazy um but i will be streaming um and the last very last thing i will say is um i you guys didn't really realize but um if you're one of the viewers on my stream has been tuning for me i'd like to thank you very much i just hit affiliate uh, on twitch which means you subscribe to me use your uh twitch prime uh, subscription on me that'd be really cool i'd really appreciate it for ad free viewing um no ads will pop up um you won't have to worry about anything just there um i i really am grateful that this caliber community i've been a part of and bring content and streaming about it and uh it's been getting me to where i've been wanting to go for a long time this has been a long journey for me um very hard at some points but a very long journey and i've gotten to where i want to be and i'll continue to keep pushing on um i'll try to try to make everything try to get better of course that's gonna be a working thing but um i i will state this thank you to everyone i'm truly grateful and i want to give back as much as i can to you guys to what you guys have given me but like i said um i i hope i get your description one day on twitch i hope you subscribe to my youtube channel one day um just to watch and hopefully uh be able to watch my content more in the future but like i said I, true, I am truly humble and grateful that you guys keep well, uh, been watching my videos and get me to the path of affiliate on Twitch. I spent two hours uh, making emails and stuff to make my Twitch uh, get better. Um, but yeah, so um, if you have any opinions on the free, uh, monetization system, if you have any ideas you want to put in there and uh, want to say your opinions and ideas and stuff in the uh, comments below, go free. I'm always looking at them. I'll never bat an eye from it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe out there, okay? Peace.